Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to y'all a minute about some things that I heard today and yesterday. I recently got onto Twitter again. This is the second or third time. And I mean, that's how I've been keeping up with my politics lately. Instead of watching TV all day and trying to get it, I've been watching what politicians and stuff have been saying. <clears throat> and I don't get a lot of what they're saying. For instance, Governor, or not Governor, um, Senator Dianne Feinstein out of California. I read this a couple of days ago and it just, it made me laugh because it was so stupid. She says that if we get rid of legal guns out of the citizens' hands, that the criminals will just lay theirs down because it's just human-like to disarm yourself. I couldn't help but to laugh because I, I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how stupid some people can be. Do you, you honestly think that? I really don't understand. I mean, maybe my brain is just, maybe I'm like Kramer. I'm, I'm out there, Jerry, and loving every minute of it. But I, it really, really floors me on these politicians, especially, and no offense, but especially the Democrats and the liberals. I mean, there's a good, there's a saying that goes on, a good rep uh, conservative Republican, if they don't like guns, they don't own one. But if a liberal Democrat doesn't, uh, doesn't like guns, he doesn't want anybody to have them. But yet they will be uh, guarded by security guards that are armed with what guns to protect them. Uh, you ask me, that's kind of being a hypocrite, a serious hypocrite. So there's so many people that own guns in this country that have never done anything wrong. I've said it in a video before. I've seen guns lay on kitchen counters. They've never shot anybody. They just lay there. Uh, it, it is the means to a murder. And I saw this today on Feinstein. She is trying, she's doing all she can to get rid of the assault rifles, trying to basically implement Bill Clinton's assault rifle ban again. Well, the first one didn't do that well. It did not uh, lower the assault rifle killings at all. Because if you look at the statistics, the majority of your killings with guns are number one, they're gang related, but they don't want to tell you that. And number two, they're with pistols, handguns. And I'm not saying to outlaw the handguns either, because you shouldn't. Nobody carries an AR-15 or a hunting rifle most of the time to go out on a shooting spree. They use a handgun, why? Because they're easily concealable. I mean, that's just the way it is. You wanna do some damage like that, you just carry multiple handguns, multiple magazines, not just carrying an AR-15. So, I don't understand. Maybe my brain just doesn't think that way, which is all fine and well. But I just think people need to be more educated. And these politicians that think that the cure is to get rid of them. No, it's not. The cure is, is to hold these people accountable. Put them on trial for their actions. And I'm sorry, bring back the death penalty because that sends a huge message to people. You do something wrong, you kill somebody, and it is found without a shadow of a doubt that you were the one that committed the crime, you should do the time. And I'm not saying sitting in a jail cell for the next 30 years on death row. That's not what I'm saying, because that's not the way we should be doing it. Because how much money is that costing the, the taxpayers? Their health care, their room, their board, their medical, their food. Why should he get a luxury resort for killing five people or however many it was? If it is proven that he is he or she has done what they said that they have done, execution is the only way to go because that sends the big message. Criminals don't want to die. They want to keep robbing and stealing and doing whatever it is they're doing. 
So if you start holding them majorly accountable, stuff will change. And if you look at our history over the last, I think it was 40 years, the actual crime rate on guns has gone down over the last four decades. Huh. Wonder how that happened. Oh, wait a minute. It's because more law-abiding citizens own guns. Oh, what a concept. And if you look at other states, such as, I'm trying to remember what state it is. So if I say the state wrong, I do apologize. But there is one in New England, and I'm for some reason I'm wanting to say it's Vermont. But I'll have to, it, like I said, if I said the wrong state, I apologize. But there is a state up there that there is so many legal guns there, they have one of the lowest crime rates in the nation. Because why? Everybody there carries. That's just a big statement. And where is our number one murderous state or murderous city in this country? Oh, wait a minute. It would be Chicago, where nobody can have a gun there. And look at their their debt, their the turmoil in that in that uh, city. They are so far in debt, and they can't blame it on Republicans because they haven't elected a Republican to any type of office in something like 50 years. They uh, they only have themselves to blame, and all of the the gun violence there. They have themselves to blame for that because they went into a safe place, just like these schools. What are all these schools that are having mass murders? Oh, it's a safe place. No guns allowed. Maybe there's a direct correlation between that. Have you ever thought about that? You just need to sit and think about it and use your common sense because we are having a huge problem with common sense these days. People are just... They're stupid. <laughs> I don't mean to put it that way, but they are. They're just, uh, they make no sense. And it just, it just floors me some of the things they do. And for those senators like Gov um, Feinstein from California and Pelosi from California, Schumer from New York, uh, all of you that are on the anti-gun bandwagon, I just want to know what restaurant y'all went to and got the special stupid sauce because I want to make sure I avoid it. Uh, obviously, I didn't get that because I think that everybody has the right to bear arms just like the Second Amendment says. And what part of that amendment on the very end, that, that last couple words, what, what is it? Let me think. What does it say? <gasps> Shall not be infringed. What part of that do you not understand? Why do you keep trying to take away the guns when you can't? It is secured by our Constitution. So stop. You just want to be able to enslave everybody. Just like, uh, let's see, um, in, uh, see, uh, Kali, I can't even think of his name, um, Hitler. Remember, everything he did was legal too, which included confiscating guns. And what happened over there? Oh, that's right, you're now teaching in the Common Core, in the schools, dumbing the kids down and saying the Holocaust never happened. Yeah, well, there's people like me that'll spread that word. It did happen. Millions of Jews died. So don't let anybody tell you wrong, because it is in the history books. You just have to find the right ones and not the newest ones where they took it out. It's ridiculous. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry for such a long rant. But if you like this one and it resonates with you like it does me, please comment below. Give me, give me your words of wisdom, words of advice, whatever. Tell me to shut up, whatever you want to do, that's fine. But uh, please subscribe to my channel, um, like it, uh, sh share it, let everybody know. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you folks on the, on the next video. Talk to you later.